Hello, welcome back to another video, guys. Um, in this video, we are going to go through two professional diagnostic machines. One of them on the left is the Launch X43 Pro TT, and the other one is the Launch X43 Pro 3As. We're going to go through the key differences and features that they both have. Now, I've already gone through the boxes. There are other videos and uh, you can certainly look at it how I unreveal the um, launches themselves. This is one of the boxes that you get when you first initially get it. There is another box that comes with each one of these and they are the adapters that you carry separately in the box, which is good because you're not having to carry a large amount of stuff in one bag, which will be very heavy for our backs. So as we can see, both boxes are very like for like, identical. They're both same quality in that sense. Even the cabling um, in terms of the OBDs, as we can see here, this is the Pro 3 Ace. Um, very similar to the other one. They both do the same stuff in this sense. Uh, I will go through every feature of this um, so you all know the differences. Obviously, the one on the left is the older model. The one on the right is the new one model. So let's start with the, what both tools offer. So both of them, uh, you can do a full system diagnostic scans, uh, such as, uh, you know, doing the engine, ABS, airbag, transmission, immobilizer, body control module, and many more functions. Uh, and that's on both of them. Uh, you can do a full access to live data, graphing, freeze frame, data and module status across all the systems within the car. And the main important thing about them both is as well, that it has a powerful bi-directional control, uh, which you can activate test, um, lets you like manual operate components like the fan, uh, injector, EGR valves, window and many more other features. Um, for over 25, it has like over 25 service reset functions. Um, I'm going to tell you one or two brief ones so you know what, what it is. Uh, this includes oil reset, electronic parking brake, throttle adaption. Um, DPF is really important. I mean, we've got a lot of diesel cars around these days. So DPF regen, um, steering angle sensor. So I've done a lot with the VAC cars, Audi, CS, Skoda, VW. And they do tend to mess up. And when they do, obviously, it would be a case of changing the theory and sensor and coding it back in. And there's many more features. Um, they do both. They do both support injector coding, ECU coding, and selected uh, module programming on compatible vehicles. Um, same trusted launch DBS, SCAR, VCI, and fast Bluetooth connection, which they both have. You know, it's quite instant there's no messing around in terms of it being sluggish when you pair it up to a car and as we said they um uh they both come with two boxes as mentioned like you know ones for the obd um it both they both come with two years free update included so that's when you buy the uh, products online amazon is your best bet and when you buy them the minute you um sign up you instantly get two years free update with them both and update cost uh, after that is approximately 250 quid to 300 pound a year and um, both tools continue to work even without updates uh, just no new vehicle supports really so you can do your normal full scan and whatnot if the update runs out there are certain components that may not work coding uh like the programming section may not work uh, i've realized this on like other manufacturers such as hotel but 350 quid is not bad and that's the very um should we say 250 to 300 quid sorry it's not bad at all comparing it to other manufacturers uh, i'm going to give you an example of hotel and snap-on hotel you'd be looking at rough identical like for like you'd be anywhere anywhere minimum 7 800 pounds that one for hotel which is uh, equivalent to the ms908 uh, 908 or 906 s pro which is very like for like or even the hotel ultra light s that one is about 1300 dollars which may work around about a grandish just for a year as an update so it's crazy money there guys uh whereas snap on may be 800 pounds 700 pounds around this figure but yeah you can see the the competi competition here guys now 
uh, here's where the launch X43 Pro Ace, uh, Pro 3 Ace has the edge. So the one on the right is the new one, like we said. So screen and design, the Pro 3 Ace has a large 10.1 inch touchscreen, brighter, easier to use in the workshop. And I mean, I'll be honest, you can only, from this sort of distance, I can already see it myself. It's really nice. I've put the brightness up on that one, but I will also put it up on that one. That's like on min. Um, and it's really nice as well. So the Pro TT has a smaller screen, uh, around 8 inches, so you can already see the difference. The Ace also comes with a rugged casing and a built-in jacks, a backstand, perfect for hands-free use on the job. So I'll show you now as well. So, as you can see, that's the Pro 3 Ace. It has this backstand, whereas that one doesn't. It's just literally flat, there's nothing to it, which I'll show you as well. But this is very, very good especially when it comes to um, working on cars and I hate holding it in my hands. So what I tend to do when you've got this, you just hook it onto the steering wheel and do the job and you won't have to get your hands dirty. So that's that one guys. Um, and it's a really nice. And then this one here, I'm gonna fall. But as you can see, um, it's got nothing, nothing like that guys. It's just smooth as anything. So it's, it's great for mobile techs or garage environments where you need to, you know, prop it up and move around as, as you saw yourselves. So moving on to the hard power, hardware power, should we say. The Pro 3H runs on Android 10 with a 2.0 GHz octa-core CPU, 4 gig RAM and a 64 gig internal storage. The Pro TT has a slow performance, less RAM uh, and smaller storage. The Ace handles multitasking and modern vehicles better smoother faster performance and overall as you may appreciate there's a reason dealers like manufacturers like these bring out new models it's got to be better than the old model and it's and you always say is it worth every penny yes so far so good it's worth every penny in my eyes or in my opinion should we say uh, advanced capability okay so the pro 3 a supports smart link remote diagnostic connect to or assist another tech like remotely. So you won't have no issues in that sense. Compatibility with ADAS calibration tools, uh, for for example, for radar system, lane keeping, adaptive cruise, uh, and, and so on and so on. It's more um, advanced ECU coding functions on newer vehicles, uh, varies by brand as well. Faster data refresh rates, so when graphing or reading live data. Now, one of the main things here, uh, a lot of people will ask is, okay, well, you've gone through everything. We know the right hand side, the Pro 3 uh, is, is, TT is far better, but what is the pricing? Now the pricing for the TT Pro, so on, the one on the left is 500 to 700 pounds. The reason I say 500 to 700 or even 800 pounds is because it will vary on the offers that the manufacturer has. It depends what time of the year you grab it, but that's the sort of like rough pricing. The one on the right will vary between anywhere, I don't know, from 850 to 1100, you know, 1100 pounds. Again, will vary what time of the year you grab it. Now, moving on. So yeah, like my final thoughts on, on them both. Uh, the Launch Pro TT is still solid for general diagnostic or smaller workshop, should we say. But the Pro 3 Ace is better built, uh, more future proof and packed with high-end features. If you're regularly working on newer vehicles, doing like coding or remote work, or just want a smoother experience, the Ace is 100% worth the upgrade. Now, I am... I have done another video as well, specifically on the launch uh, X43 Pro 3 Ace TT. I've done one specifically for this and I've gone through the modules in terms of the features it has. One thing I've realised that's different on the this one and the older model is when it comes to coding, when you go into the coding and programming section, there's something called like personalization or retrofit, should we say, but we'll use the personalization as uh, an example. When you click on it, it doesn't give you like, should we say, uh, numbers. It gives you the actual names. For example, so we want to knock the seatbelt off. Most diagnostics will say, uh, code let's say 23 i don't know what code 23 means i have no idea however 
the one on the right here does break down code 23. It names it for you, so it will say seatbelt warning on off in that sense, or disabled or enabled. Whereas the one on the left doesn't do that, as far as I know, and it just gives you a number. And I'll be honest with it, when it comes to these sort of things, anyone in this game, when it comes to the numbers, you, you were lost, I'll be honest, because I have no idea what that number means. I don't know where it reflects back to, but the one on the right does break it down very easy. And then the other machine that kind of compares to that would be the Autel Ultralight or the MS-9086 Pro, which again, has that sort of feature. But then again, guys, that, that hotel is like well overpriced in that sense. They're good machine, but they're well overpriced. But you've got to understand this one here does the same job as the hotel, the snap on. But you we were talking like a lot cheaper. And the yearly update is a number one you need to understand uh, because there's no point in buying an expensive machine and then you're having to pay as much as the machine's price for a yearly update. It's a no brainer. So, yeah, we've come to the very end. I would love to hear your feedbacks on what you guys think. If you've got the old one, let me know. If you've got the new one, let me know. Um, obviously, you guys probably use it more than I do in this sense, but it's nice to see if you've got another type of diagnostic machines, let's say uh, another manufacturer, Snap-on, iCarsoft, Xtool, Top Dog, whatever, whatever you've got. I'd like to know what you've got. Put it in the comments below. Um, I'll certainly tell you what the difference, or oh, I'll try, I'll try my best to come back to you all because I get like tons of comments every day, but I'll tell you what the difference is from yours and these two. And also, um, I'll put the link into both of them uh, down below in the description. Thank you very much.